Hi, I'm Sam Deniff, Head of Defence at Copters, and I'm joined by Terry from Brigantes, Head of Technical. Uh, today we're going to do a workflow video of the Reveal Farsight mobile mapping software. Uh, we're going to use the Parrot Anafi USA drone uh, and do a full uh, showcase of capturing data, processing that data, and then showing how it can be used. Uh, so Terry, give us a bit more information about the Reveal Farsight software uh, and what we're going to do today. Sure. So the software, as you said, it's a, it's a 3D mapping software. It's an application that sits on the end user device. What's really great about the software is it's drone agnostic, so you can use virtually any drone. And in this case, we're using the Parrot and Afi. It's also processed on the device, so it doesn't need uh, uh, any external storage or, or any uh, connectivity to a server. You can be totally disconnected. And it works alongside ATAC, so you can pass that information once you've processed. And all we're gonna do simply today is we're gonna fly the drone as if we were using this area uh, to do a reconnaissance of. We will uh, collect the data off of the drone and then process it through the application just to show you how easy it is to do that in situation. And how long roughly do you think it's going to take us from putting the drone up to having the data there ready to use? That's a really great question and I suppose that it depends on the situation you're in and the area you're going to recce. In this instance it's probably going to take us about two to three minutes to do that and you can expect about another two or three minutes to process that information. So no time at all and what that allows the soldier to do is to be able to process that information whilst remaining in situation. Brilliant, so we're talking less than 10 minutes uh, in the situation we're in today yeah. to get that data. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well, let's put that to the test. We're going to get the Parrot and Afi USA out and we're going to do our flight, process the data and show you the results of that process. Okay, so we're back from our flight. Uh, it took about three minutes, maybe just under, uh, and now we are taking the data and processing it on the end user device, and Terry's gonna run us through that now. So all I've done is I removed the SD card and I've transferred the data onto the device. I've opened up the application and we're going to find the location of that uh, data. It's given me the option here to choose how fast I uh, process that information and that's really important for the situation that the soldier may be in it may be that they don't have a great deal of time so we can do that very very quickly or you may have time to process that and that's going to enhance the image quality of that model once you've done so in this instance I'm just going to find the, the um, where that data is kept uh, and then I'm going to start that process right now. What that's doing is it's finding all the information from the data, it's pulling it off the, the internal storage, it's pulling it through the application, and then it's going to create that model. And that's taking you there, uh, maybe three inputs, three presses of different points on the screen? Sure, yeah, all I'm doing through. is just finding where that's stored on the device, uh, locating that image, and then pulling it through. And yeah. as you can see now, it's just starting to process that data. So we've just finished processing the data. It's taken seven minutes in total to process that data, which takes our total mission time there to just under 10 minutes. So Terry now is gonna take us through some of the features and some of the things we can do with what we've just collected. Sure, so as you can see, we now have a 3D model. And uh, what we have now is the option to place some targets on there. So we can imagine that there's an enemy position uh, and we can see the enemy's line of sight, for example. Uh, and as we put our finger on there and move that, you can see that moving dynamically. We've also got the ability to lay some routes through the area, and that's going to use artificial intelligence to give us the best route through that area, and where possible it will avoid those enemy lines of sight. We've also got a measuring tool, so we can measure distances between buildings or heights of buildings, and that's great for factoring in things like use of ladders or, or being able to get vehicles into certain areas. And then right down the bottom there, we've got some smart little tools there which enable us to factor in a helicopter landing site. Uh, and there's a selection of different helicopters there that we can use. And by selecting one and searching the area, it's going to give us a location where it thinks that a helicopter can land. So if you were trying to move from one side to another of an area like this, tons of obstacles, lots of places for, for, for people to hide, uh, for things to go wrong, how 
advantageous and beneficial would you find some of these features? Sure, so if you bear in mind this situation that we're in, we've got lots of kind of uh, typical farm buildings, we've got lots of machinery and there's a few caravans around so if you was to do, try and do a reconnaissance on this area it would be quite manpower intensive quite time consuming and quite a dangerous situation to be in so to have the ability to deploy a tactical level drone and within 10 minutes have a product that you can use intelligently to help you uh, plan your mission whatever that mission be and then disseminate that and share that across the rest of the network is really really valuable brilliant so the top line is using this software is going to be faster it's going to be safer, it's going yep. to be more efficient than traditional methods. Yeah, sure. So thanks for watching this workflow video of the Reveal Farsight mobile mapping software. Terry, thanks for joining us. Thank uh, you. Great to get your insights onto what this tech can do for the end user. If anyone's got any questions or wants any further information, please do get in touch at defense at We look forward to hearing from you soon.